Swiss are coming for you, coming for your mom. Oh. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid direction of Corbin. Who needs classical Indian music when you've got us? You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to Patreon, follow the account, subscribe to the like button. I hey. believe Mesh Kale asked if he could remake that song. He did. And in case you're watching, shout out to our dost, Astaji Zakir Hussein. Anytime you need backup, we're, we're available. Just like a tabla. Uh, today we got a, a 90s song. And it's yes! A, it's a... It's not a film, okay, but it's a Hindi pop standalone from pop song. the '90s. Okay, and so it's going to give a lot of people. I've been told nostalgia. Going to give you the nostalgia vibes right down in your crank. Music is by my mom, right here. Where uh, Falguni Patak performing Main Pial Hai Chankai. Forgive the mispronunciation, and it must the be the standalone hit. Must be a lot of nostalgia. Because Old is gold. So it's it's 90s, but it has 390 million views. Just like my mom's sex tape. Yeah. Weird. Uh oh. Hand holding. Show me the tumka. <laughs> Thought it was a person at first. <laughs> there once was a lonely goat herd with That's hideous dandruff. Whoa. That is called a faux pas. He smirked all over himself. Wow, was that the substitute teacher? <laughs> it's like a fashion show. Oh! Mean There's girls. The popular girls, yeah. I guess. The cheerleaders. It's really playing the guitar. <laughs> That's Shah Rukh Khan as a puppet? If he goes like this. It is! They're in a field of flowers. It sure is. And he has the guitar. Yeah, it sure is. Wow, the production. 
production value. That's SRK and Bafigar. Yeah. Yep. Or Zorro. I don't know. That's a sweet song. Yeah, and I bet the lyrics have a lot to do with. Absolutely, uh, do such a such a. Um, a nostalgia song for a lot of people. If it was nostalgic for you, please let us know. Yeah, it's melodically very sweet. It's it's hard to compare like ninety songs where where I grew up that would be nostalgic because they probably don't. It's probably not as sweet because obviously there's so many songs in Indian films that yeah, it's hard to compare to what we have here. But like yeah. we have like theme songs that are nostalgic, like Reading Rainbow theme song. Butterfly in the sky. But those are just theme songs. And it's yeah. just because we love Or Magic School Bus or Bill Nye the Science Guy. Those yeah. have like nostalgic theme songs. I'm trying to like... Obviously, there's songs. There's songs from... Uh, the most nostalgic song... But that they can... don't come from films like they do. And this is not well, a Well, there is... There's one, there's, there's one nostalgic one they play all the time. What? For me. That takes me back to high school. Hmm. And that's... Don't you forget about oh, me. Yeah, from... Yeah, that one takes me back to high school every time I hear it because I was in high school when The Breakfast Club came out, so that movie was for me. Uh, and it is very, very, very real. That that was one of the best things about The Breakfast Club is every one of those characters was a type it of kid. It represented the high school at the time. Who were 100% like that. I was absolutely the, the... Even though I played baseball, I was not a jock. Mm. And I wasn't a rebel. I was absolutely the nerd, a hundred percent. I was, I was small. I would, I bloomed later. Everyone else had gone through That's puberty. You related to most in that movie when I when I watched it. Yeah, oh, right. That's the one I related to the most. The one who I looked up to the most was Judd Nelson. Oh, yeah. his character. Yeah, yeah. He was he was the guy that I kind of wished I could be. That's the character I've always related to. The most. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But when I was in, when I was in high school. I was kind of a nerdy guy, and because I was in theater as well as played baseball, I was known way, way more for my my acting and lip syncing Michael Jackson. So I was definitely a, a, a dorky, nerdy kid. Wait. Okay, sorry. I was making sure I was thinking of the right guy. I didn't think of Judd Nelson. Not um, Estevez. No, he was the jock. Um, if you haven't seen Breakfast Club... Oh. It'd be actually interesting if you're an Indian who've never seen Breakfast Club, obviously who did not grow up in the United States, what you think about it. Because yeah. it's in a very American film. And a very, very. Very American school, especially of the time. Of the day. Uh, uh, films. It'd be really interesting to see what Indians think about that. And but it's beloved. It's obviously. beloved. here, and, and, I mean, one of the great things about it, it would make a great play. I don't know if I've ever tried to put it on stage. But it's um, the, whole, the whole film just takes place in, in one day. Of these kids having Saturday detention. It's a great movie. It is. Um, and speaking of great movies, of the day, it's greenlit and they're cast. In 2024, we're going to get Beetlejuice 2 with Michael Keaton and uh, Wednesday. I know. Yeah. Good for you. Uh, Winona Ryder will be, will be reprising a role. I hope so. I'm almost convinced it's not going to be good. Just. I don't, the reason I have a good feeling about it is because. Of how long it took. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, typically, if you make a sequel to something and you, you, you've you waited a long time to do it, you did it because you have... No one's clamoring oh, People have been for clamoring that. for Beetlejuice, too. Since, uh, like, I've heard rumors since the early 2000s of Beetlejuice 2. People have wanted this film for a long time. I just... I just... Also, I don't, have, I don't know if I have enough faith in Tim now. I have faith in Keaton. Um, I don't think Keaton would waste his time, even though he's going to get a big payday, but he's been getting big paydays. I don't know that Keaton would just do it to do it. You'd hope not, but I am just the amount of like times that classics have gotten a sequel after, yeah. and then just the track record. I'm just, I don't know. 
Uh, I hope it is. I, do I love too. Beetlejuice, but also it didn't need a sequel. It did either. not need a sequel. Um, but anyways, uh, beautiful. Let us know if this was nostalgic Lovely for you. Yeah, uh, down below.